All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends and family members, welcome to our space talk. It is time for us to get started. Shall we turn up the microphone a little bit? Yeah, let's do that. And the music. Ah, here, I know which one. That's it. Good. One more time, a very, very warm welcome and a lovely, wonderful good evening to everyone. I'm happy to see a lot of familiar faces, students from Harbor Space, staff members, alumni, and also a couple of graduates here that joined us traveling from quite some places, actually. A special welcome to all our external people that are here on campus for the first time. Maybe you haven't heard of Harbor Space until two weeks ago when we announced this event. A special welcome to everyone that is joining us online. We are streaming through YouTube today. And a very, very special welcome back, of course, to Svetlana, who arranged everything. Where are you, Svetlana? There you are. A big round of applause to our hosts. Founder and CEO of this beautiful university here. And the reason why we are here is because we are about to watch and listen and learn from one of our new partners. A person who has achieved many, many entrepreneurial successes in his life, who is going to share his insights and promote his book that he recently published, which we are also giving uh, out as a little reward at the end to some of the most curious questions that are raised during our Q&A. Because our format is the following. We are going to give him the stage for about 45 minutes. We want to listen to him, and then at the end, it is very open for you to ask questions as well. This doesn't have to be just a one-way street. If you want to know more, raise your hand and we're going to come to you. And at the very end, we invite everyone downstairs to the first floor. As part of the informal get-together, we prepared some drinks and snacks. Everyone is welcome to join. And then we sort of fade out this evening in a very comfortable and easygoing way. With this being said, my name is Amir. I'm happy to announce and introduce everyone. I work here at Harbor Space, but now it is time really to give a big round of applause to Igor. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, nice to be here. Uh, I wanted to speak a little bit uh, about what am I doing, why I am doing, and uh, a few words uh, also about uh, this uh, book, uh, which uh, funny name, Adventures in Venture, uh, which was recently released. Um, so, uh, Venture, uh, Capital Venture Business uh, is uh, literally my life for um, my love and my life for last uh, 15 years uh, i would say uh, and uh, doing venture it is a uh, kind of uh, a very risky business uh, but uh, to make adventure of it brings uh, a lot of fun into your life Okay, it is uh, uh, here a few points uh, about uh, myself. Uh, I started uh, okay, uh, not not a very usual uh, career for um, a venture investor, but I would tell very usual career for a successful venture investor. Uh, so I started uh, work after universities. Uh, uh, software designer and uh, electronic engineer, two in one. And uh, for several years, uh, uh, I did it uh, because I was grown in Soviet Union. Uh, I would become entrepreneur uh, right away, but it was a uh, big crime. If I would start it immediately, I would be just jailed. So I waited a few years, like uh, five years after I worked as an engineer, it was uh, officially allowed, so I immediately switched and uh, started to work uh, 
in uh, business. A few years later, I was able to start my uh, group of companies, uh, which lasted for the next uh, 15 years. And uh, uh, during this time, I already started to do some uh, angel investments. Uh, I didn't know those time uh, what is venture. I didn't know this uh, word, uh, venture, angel, and whatever. I, I just did it. Uh, um, and by the way, with uh, some uh, success. And uh, then 15 years later, I was able already to sell one by one uh, companies from my group and uh, successful. <laughs> some were not very successful, I just shut it down. Uh, and uh, then, uh, okay, uh, I had choice literally what, what to do next. So my uh, first idea was uh, to become professor in university, which I already had some experience by the time uh, teaching, and which I like very much. Uh, but uh, this time I decided uh, to start uh, a professional career of a venture investor. Uh, why I did it? Uh, because uh, some of, uh, by this time, uh, some of my students and uh, some of employees of uh, my former companies. And uh, I, I forgot to mention that uh, after uh, my group of companies, I went uh, for three years to the United States, started my own startup, went to next uh, five years. It took for me like a way of a founder. Uh, so I had uh, this experience uh, too. And uh, so people mainly from my startup, but also from other companies started to get already with their startups and their ideas. I started to advise them. Uh, and uh, I cannot advise without giving money. So if I, if I like idea and uh, advice, I started to invest. And so I become professional uh, professional investor. I didn't notice how it happened, but uh, when I already had during two years, 15 companies invested and uh, some of them uh, become uh, quite uh, interesting. Uh, so uh, I decided to go this way and uh, 10 years ago I started my uh, first fund with uh, other investors' money in it before I did only on my own money. Uh, so during this uh, pass, uh, uh, okay, uh, I managed to get uh, some successes. Uh, there are altogether eight companies uh, which uh, I was able to join on uh, the at the beginning of uh, the journey, uh, and uh, they become uh, unicorns and decacorns. Uh, but okay, it's uh, certainly not all, all of companies because altogether it's close to 400 companies. So, but uh, still it is uh, not bad uh, success. Uh, today we had a uh, lunch uh, with business community of uh, Catalonia. So I understand that uh, in uh, our portfolio we have uh, same amount of unicorns, not only like Catalonia, but all Spain has. So. <laughs> Comparing to this, it, 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 it is not bad. And I continue to work with uh, our leading companies. Uh, I started and continue to be early stage investor. It means that I try to find uh, entrepreneurs and companies at the beginning of their journey when they just uh, okay, uh, uh, start to do the first steps or they start to roll out to market and so on and really support them uh, at this stage. But uh, during this journey, uh, okay, some of companies uh, become big and I enjoy also working with them already with companies uh, which have uh, hundreds and uh, thousands of uh, employees and uh, quite big success and I'm proud to sit, okay, to be board member of uh, such world leading companies today, which gives me not only uh, responsibilities, uh, but also possibility uh, to, to brighten uh, my views uh, beyond uh, what I was able to do and advise and see 10 years ago.
Okay. Quickly. I am not writer. I am entrepreneur. Why I decided uh, uh, to write a book? Uh, okay. First of all, because uh, I like uh, to give advices, especially when nobody asks about advices. It's especially good. Uh, but uh, in reality, uh, when we go entrepreneurial uh, way, uh, there are uh, most common uh, points for success. And at uh, the same time, there are most common mistakes, uh, which uh, everybody does. And whatever you tell, how many times you repeat, everybody will continue to do. Uh, so in my uh, life, I, I get the same questions all the same time. I meet uh, the same situations all the same time. Whatever uh, okay, project I speak, um, uh, and uh, I did it uh, for many years. So I started first to, to write uh, columns and uh, social networks and so on to address uh, no, one, uh, second, uh, third question. Uh, then I started to do chapters in uh, uh, books uh, about startups. Uh, my favorite um, uh, topic was uh, uh, harmful advices. So <laughs> usually uh, I advise uh, what to do if you want that your startup will never fly. Uh, uh, but uh, then I decided that it's uh, not a bad idea uh, to summarize uh, uh, most uh, common uh, ways of what to do and uh, what uh, not, not to do. So here came uh, this book. Okay, for whom I did this book? Uh, when I started to collect information, because I collect this information from uh, things which I written before, from published and unpublished, when I started to analyze this, I found that generally it is um, uh, advices uh, which I want to do and information which I uh, prepare uh, generally are uh, uh, either for entrepreneurs who do the or want to start the enterprise, already doing this uh, and meet all these uh, problems and challenges, and also for investors, for angel investors and for early VCs, uh, which also do mistakes uh, when investing. So uh, I started to build a book this way. Uh, that uh, address questions of uh, both uh, sides of the process uh, for people uh, who invest and people who look for investments. Uh, and I try to do it uh, quite easy, so it would be also interesting to walk to uh, people who know nothing about investment. And this is why, and also I try to, to do it not boring. So um, to do it easy reading and uh, okay, fun to read. Uh, I don't know how much I succeed in this, but it was uh, my uh, target to do it. So uh, either you founder uh, doing it, you read it, either you investor, uh, you read it, and uh, it is divided uh, to part for investor in part, like Canon for investor, Canon for entrepreneurs. But uh, at the end, uh, when I already did it, I understood that uh, not big difference, because in any case, by, uh, by every topic I touch, it's always two sides. So uh, it is good for entrepreneurs to read what is for investors and for investors to read what is for entrepreneurs. OK. What? What is the uh, target? I believe uh, I will start with number three. I, put, uh, the, I try to put some uh, anecdotes and uh, funny stories. So just uh, good reading for uh, one or two evenings. It's uh, not uh, uh, very long. And uh, I really, every question which I address, uh, it's real life. 
It is every, every project uh, meets this. Uh, we had this uh, master class today, and I would tell it. I could go topic by topic, and uh, I saw almost all possible mistakes, and I also saw some uh, right ways too. Uh, so to get it, uh, it just uh, let uh, to put your mind together when uh, when you work on project, or to get your mind together when you try to estimate if you need invest in this particular project or. But uh, forget them to, to do something else. Okay. When we start project, or uh, when we look for angel investment, what we have in mind? Project should become great. It should. Uh, be interesting for uh, many people, and uh, at the end of the day, it should be successful. It should be people should know about it, and uh, uh, it should also generate uh, money, and uh, not money only for living of uh, founding team, uh, but also uh, providing a great uh, return uh, for investors. Uh, so when uh, somebody starts company or somebody starts uh, to pitch uh, his uh, uh, ideas, uh, his project, it's necessary to get answer to uh, some important uh, questions. And the uh, answer to these questions, um, uh, honest answer to uh, yourself, helps you understand if uh, it is the right thing what you're doing and help to understand people uh, to whom you want to communicate your uh, project to understand if it is really thing uh, which worth attention. So what is the idea? Why I started? Uh, how it is good? You know that in a real world, when you start to do something, there are generally two reasons, two explanations. Is you found way to do some uh, known thing, but you do it like uh, uh, quicker, faster, cheaper, uh, or uh, you do uh, something like a brave new world. You just explain uh, invention uh, which nobody before you uh, have found. Uh, so you understand. Uh, and then uh, when you get your idea, uh, you answer the question, okay, what I'm doing? What will be my product? Uh, am I doing product or service? Uh, where I do it? Uh, or whom I address it? Uh, to what market? Uh, will it be a global project? Will it be a local project? Will it be mom, pop shop? What, what, uh, what I'm going to do? Uh, so uh, after I understand what market uh, address, so how big it will be, will be this market, and how uh, I gonna get there? It's because it's uh, not enough just to have an uh, idea. It's necessary to think uh, really uh, how to get to your potential customers. Who are these customers? How to reach them? Uh, what uh, resources do you need for them? Then uh, your team, you collect your team. Uh, who is in your team? Uh, just your roommate or classmate, or uh, uh, you really collect team on uh, quality and possibility to deliver. And uh, what uh, what is uh, what I gonna reach when we start today from scratch in garage or uh, in co-working? What uh, what at the end of the day uh, we will do? How how our uh, product or idea will uh, turn to a uh, bright uh, future. What should we do now? Uh, what tactics uh, should we use really to do? Like uh, if we see a um, big goal, uh, what will be our tactics uh, to get to this goal? What uh, small steps and how should we do? Uh, do I need finances? Uh, where to take this finance? Do I need uh, big finances today or should I do in steps? 
uh, on market where I go, I invented something. Uh, I, I should look what what market looks like. Uh, who are other players, uh, or what new players can uh, emerge in the same time as me? So all these uh, questions are quite important, and I try to. Uh, address all these questions. And these questions are both important uh, for uh, entrepreneurs and uh, they're also so much uh, important for investors. So when I do uh, my decision to invest uh, in uh, some project and I do this investment uh, and decisions uh, very often, more often than I wanted, but at least twice a month I invest in a new project. Uh, so every time I consider, okay, why I would be interested in it? Uh, is it a big enough market? Is it idea which are worth uh, attention? Who, who is on board? Uh, how do they uh, sound? Will they really be, will they really communicate uh, success to me and will they really communicate the success uh, to the market? Uh, will they be able to envision uh, great goals uh, and uh, will they be able to understand how to get there? So if I understand this, uh, then for me is no question, just question uh, where to bring uh, money. Okay. Uh, if you get uh, to your idea, uh, you started uh, uh, to do, um, or you think to do, or you already started to do, uh, please, okay, sell your idea to yourself. You really should uh, understand it's not something, and this is why, uh, frankly speaking, I don't want to offend somebody because there are people here. When people come to me and tell, okay, uh, I have three startups, then you are not founder, you are venture builder. I, I, don't, I want to speak to founder, I want to speak to team. I don't tell that venture builder uh, cannot exist, for sure can. But for me, a proper founder whom I want to uh, finance, uh, is uh, really, okay, found the founding team who really uh, uh, so much uh, understanding and concentrating on uh, their idea, their product. Uh, so uh, they really have a chance to become a big story because they should uh, sell this idea, first of all, to themselves. They should be able to sell this idea to their co-founders, to their team, to their sales, to their customers, and to their investors. So it is a, so uh, be confident, be concentrated, and uh, understand what you do, how you do, and how, uh, uh, how far you can go by what uh, means. Uh, this is about uh, um, determining goals and uh, ways uh, to go there. And uh, one of, uh, yeah, here on this slide, last not least, uh, on my understanding, the most important. As soon as you have your uh, target, uh, please uh, target it. <laughs> Focus on uh, achievement. Try not to do many things uh, at once. Try to find uh, some particular focus on uh, what, uh, what type of customer, what uh, geography, uh, what uh, feature in product. Because uh, every time you start, or whatever money you have, it, and time and team, uh, remember, resources are limited. If you are not focused, you just waste resources and you will go uh, to nowhere. And uh, when I tell you about uh, uh, focus, uh, always uh, necessary to be able, and for me as an investor it's the same, uh, very important to understand what is core competence, what is the core advantage of the project and the team, and uh, help them uh, to really focus 
on uh, what is uh, distinguishing uh, the particular project and particular team. All other features, all uh, what is uh, necessary to tell could be outsourced, uh, could be taken uh, from uh, common creative uh, and from uh, open source, whatever. But uh, main, uh, main, main idea, main advantage, it is uh, really what uh, makes projects successful and uh, full concentration should be on this. Okay, it is more easy because uh, I already told today somebody uh, how to invest. Uh, when I am asked how to get so many successful stories and unicorns, it's very easy. You just look at uh, all the projects. You don't invest in wrong project and invest in right project. That's all. It is uh, easy like this. But uh, in reality, what I told for entrepreneurs, just uh, uh, the same is uh, right for investors, but from valuation point of view. So you look at it. Uh, when you are investor, uh, what you try to do? Uh, you try to understand, is it your area? Do you understand something in it? Uh, in it? Don't uh, just uh, follow crowd, because a crowd can go in whatever direction. Uh, if you want to follow crowd, go to public market, and it is the best uh, to follow crowd. Uh, try to understand uh, that this idea is uh, really able uh, to become big and uh, the people who do it understand what they are doing. Okay. I, I, I believe uh, uh, we are already clo close to finishing of my boring lecture. Uh, so, here, uh, what is book at the end of the day? Uh, it is not a textbook for university. So, Lana, if you need a textbook, I will write it separately as textbook. <laughs> uh, because it is uh, more like a practical guide with uh, common advices what to do and uh, common advices uh, what mistakes uh, to avoid. Uh, uh, I try to do it. Very basic, uh, very simple, simple to read, simple uh, to understand. And uh, I would appreciate, and I appreciate it because people already, it's already uh, almost four months uh, as it uh, was published. So I get uh, a lot of uh, feedback that people uh, read it, and some find it uh, uh, quite useful, and some. Uh, um, kind of, oh, why I didn't read it before? And I don't know, may, maybe because it was uh, not published. But <laughs> generally, the situation is uh, it's easy things uh, and obvious things are quite often uh, uh, things about which we just don't think. Okay, uh, a little bit of a great guru. Please enjoy. <laughs> okay, and uh, last but not least, uh, it is uh, where, where the book is available, just in case. Okay, uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, if it will be somebody has a question, I'm uh, happy to answer. And the organizers told me that, okay, we will, okay, some little price, okay, my, my, my book to most uh, interesting questions. Thank you. Hello, my name is Alex. Thank you very much uh, for your book and for this amazing event and for host too. So I have uh, one small question, how to start your marketplace, for example, when you need to understand is your idea good or bad, because you need both sides, and which is the perfect way uh, to check your idea on, 
on that market. Thank you. <laughs> it's, uh, okay, uh, not, not easy question. Uh, my favorite uh, story about uh, market uh, places. Uh, when, okay, uh, Popov or Marconi, whatever, depends on country, whoever invented the radio, or maybe it was Tesla, but uh, it is uh, my favorite joke. Uh, okay, he invented radio, switch it on, and has nothing to listen to. So it is about marketplaces. You start marketplace and you have a chicken egg problem all the time uh, because okay, uh, your supplier will not come if you don't uh, have uh, customers and uh, uh, vice versa. So it is uh, necessary to make preparation and uh, usually it depends what kind of marketplace, but uh, usually before starting it, involving it, you should already do preliminary job uh, to make uh, like word of mouth, to make some promises so people will be intrigued uh, to come. And uh, the same way you should uh, prepare some uh, kind of uh, content uh, which will be av available for them. It is not only for marketplace, if you start your social network, for example, uh, it will not work. Like, uh, take Tinder, or open Tinder with uh, no, no person to date, who will use it? Uh, and here is the same. So it's uh, not very much uh, complicated, uh, but could be tricky because you sp should spend uh, resources, time, money to uh, fill this marketplace before you really launch it. Question oh, here. okay. Hello? Okay. Uh, Amir. My name is Mark, and I just wanted to ask you, the people that you have invested in, or startups, what was the one thing that they all had in common? All? Uh, okay. <laughs> the only thing all they have in common is that I invested in them. <laughs> yeah, you already answered. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I invested in very different, uh, very different uh, uh, projects uh, and products. And uh, by the way, uh, I made uh, many mistakes investing. Uh, maybe you want to ask uh, successful projects what they have, uh, or every project. Ah, okay. Now, most common uh, that it is an idea which uh, worth uh, following and a team which is capable to do real uh, big and scalable business of this idea. It is most common. Uh, I mentioned uh, some points um, here. So, Ideal founder uh, who can communicate what he is going to do, how it's going to influence, create or influence market, uh, what team uh, going to do it, uh, and uh, where they gonna, what they going to achieve and by what means. It is, uh, uh, when we speak, and uh, I touch it in book two, like first impression, elevator pitch. You know what's elevator pitch? So when you do elevator pitch, it's uh, like this founder who like in uh, one minute explains uh, your, uh, you explain you uh, really vision and how to get there by what means. It is uh, most common because uh, then uh, if attention is uh, already catched, uh, team has uh, more time to explain, but uh, really, really understand. I should believe that it is a story, and the story will go there. Then I will invest. There was another question here. Thank you, Igor, for the book. Um, all of us know about the successful stories and successful guys like Elon Musk and Zuckerberg and uh, other stuff. But uh, we know exactly that's always mixed of uh, hard work, talent, and lucky circumstances. Uh, probably the most useful for us to know about mistakes, about the mistakes of survivals, 
Can you share with us uh, your best mistakes? Maybe one? No. Okay, uh, lack of focus is most common mistake. Uh, I did okay, uh, no, not only book, recently it was uh, my article about uh, startups which uh, remind me Swiss knife. Like it is a very common mistake when a startup is started on some idea on development, during development, during speaking to customers, uh, feeling market, they start, okay, we will add this functionality, we will go this way, we will address this market, we will go. At the, at the end, uh, you invested in one story and then you see quite different story, which is not tragic. Pivoting is part of journey. But when you see that people just start to do, do so many things uh, and they cannot be good uh, in all things together and then they struggle with it and the lack of time, lack of resources, lack of finances, it is a most common mistake. And it's uh, very easy to get to this uh, trap. One more mistake uh, which is uh, close to this and very common especially for Europe very common in US, you will not meet it uh, so often uh, because uh, where it's difficult to get proper finance and people say, okay, uh, I'm building uh, my product, but uh, somebody asked me to help him. I will do him uh, some services. Okay, it, it is not big distraction. I will do this, I will do that. At the end of the day, they found themselves that they are not concentrated on the, the success and they did do quite uh, things uh, which uh, have nothing to do with their future success. So I am uh, never tired to repeat, be focused. Be concentrated on your uh, core competence. Don't uh, let market advises, uh, especially if you are a uh, non-technical non founder, don't let your chief technology to distract you because uh, technology people will do whatsoever and uh, they will do it everything in house. Uh, so don't do it. Be concentrated, uh, determine uh, where you go, what is your main advantage and just follow your way. We had a very special question from our online audience. One of our teachers at Harvest Base is asking, how do you consider environmental and social impact in your investments? She is referring spe specifically to the development goals by the United Nations. Uh, I don't consider it. If it is, uh, no, uh, look, uh, Generally, uh, I look for product and I like when product has a uh, good impact. But if you ask me if I have special scoring in my, uh, we don't implement it. And frankly speaking, I believe it is uh, no proper, because, okay, in the, uh, we, we don't do like harmful things. But uh, in our investment, we consider what the what story will be big and uh, how it will get a uh, good return. And if it is uh, harmful or criminal, we will avoid it. But if it is a uh, bad impact uh, in other way, market will not accept it. So no, no need to get... I believe all the scoring, the same I am uh, asked sometimes, how do you follow okay, this, uh, all this uh, modern uh, left uh, stuff? So you should, how many uh, women entrepreneurs, which is okay, I never specially target, but I have many. Or uh, I never specially target that I should have uh, different, uh, different races. But uh, when uh, good entrepreneurs come, I just uh, don't discriminate nobody and I have this. But I never put target. And if it will be about gender or uh, uh, sex orientation, I just believe that it's a taboo to ask. So I also never do it. So for me, it's, uh, when, uh, when we do it, uh, it should be a proper entrepreneur and uh, from whatever country and proper project. No, no special scoring, just do things which is uh, good to do. Thank you. I mean, I mean, <laughs> right over here. Uh, yeah, uh, no. 
Igor, thank you very much for being here. First of all, I want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Vlad. I am a developer at a startup. So we're focusing on things about the metaverse, standards of the metaverse, and trying to actually solve some big problems, including interoperability. But I would like to focus more, after this short introduction, on the investing side. And because I like to think about investing not only in terms of finance, but more about resource, like money, energy, my question is, therefore, what was the project for you where you had to invest more of your time rather than of your finances? Or if, 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 if there was a project like that and which, which was the most memorable, in that sense, a project? Huh. Was it Miroboard or was it, was it, was it any? Because I know you've done, you've done a <laughs> pretty big deal of projects, so yeah. Uh, uh, Miro, by the way, was uh, not uh, largest in uh, uh, my time investment. Uh, Miro was uh, largest. I invested uh, four years of uh, my time, or three, four years b before I invested, been mentor of uh, CEO. So it was just, uh, ju just uh, met him, and uh, he told me about his problems, approaches, uh, views, and so on. So it was time investment and uh, brain investment before money investment, which paid excellent back. So I uh, never okay, regret and, and I did it not only for him, I did it for other entrepreneurs. Uh, but uh, I mostly invest uh, heavily when, uh, um, because I still uh, continue to be entrepreneur. So um, quite often I get some idea, but because I understand that I cannot concentrate on it, so I, do, uh, I don't start doing it. And when I meet team with similar views, and they start to do idea which I would do myself. And this time uh, I sit with them more and I try like uh, uh, to help them. Uh, and more, I am trying somehow to consider that my idea is their idea. <laughs> because it's also one, one of the uh, lessons for, uh, for me as an investor. Uh, people will never do what you want them to do they will because they do their project. So in such projects, I, I spent uh, more time. Like from uh, my recent projects, it's an uh, example of uh, it is still a tiny project named Inch. Inch, in touch, Inch. So, okay, uh, because, okay, what they're doing, initially it was my idea. So I spent a lot of time. By the way, now they pivoted. So I spent with them all the time, but much less <laughs> when, when they did really my idea. Thank you so much. Thank you. I lost track a little bit on who was next here, but we have to pick two. Thank you very much for a very interesting talk. And uh, I've been following you for many years. I actually learned angel investing from you. So, so far, 14 yeah. investments. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but very small tickets, and I'm still learning. So for me, I think um, as an angel investor, what I realized, my ticket size was small, and I kind of I was the only young one in the room. The average age in London is like plus 50. So how would you add value to the to the angel syndicate if your ticket size is small? What kind of what kind of extra value I could bring for? Uh, to syndicate or to project? To both. To become uh, no, a smart uh, capital. Uh, di different. Because if you are in syndicate, uh, it's usually good advice not to go everybody to project. Uh, so uh, I distinguish. Uh, we also syndicate uh, some. We have uh, Alta Club. Uh, so, uh, somehow. Ivan is uh, here and uh, no, I'll say I, I, I already see you. Okay, come here. It's a guy who lives in uh, Barcelona and he is uh, our Alta Club and uh, somewhere was uh, Stepan, I don't see him. Uh, 
Ah, okay, in, in front of me. <laughs> okay, uh, so in uh, our syndicate, uh, we don't encourage uh, angels uh, to speak directly to team. Just in cases if it's really something uh, so useful and important to tell, because mm -hmm. uh, we don't want distraction uh, for teams. Uh, and for syndicates, uh, it is more easy uh, because you can uh, give positive or negative feedback on the projects and uh, let uh, other syndicate uh, members or syndicator to understand if you're doing uh, right or wrong. And uh, also, you can uh, bring projects. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Igor. Thanks uh, for a great presentation. My name is Michael. You answered a couple of questions about mistakes. So probably you can potentially make two types of mistakes, invest and not invest. So do you keep track of those you didn't invest? Do you make this analytics? Ah, yeah. Does it help? Every, does every, it help you? Everybody does, uh, but uh, here we have also uh, time changed our memory. Uh, so for me, uh, I mentioned, I believe, in book uh, some of uh, examples. Um, I didn't invest in uh, three unicorns, uh, which were on my way, and I uh, didn't invest. And uh, uh, most famous is GoPuff. Second is in drive. So big companies. But then when I look back, I did invest in these companies in 2014-2015. I met them already with valuation of 50 million plus. And for me, it was like today to meet with 5 billion valuation. So in reality, I didn't invest. Uh, but now, uh, and I mentioned, like, it's a lost opportunity. And when I speak to founders, uh, now I go, I didn't invest in you. I had uh, also two projects uh, which uh, I didn't invest uh, on miscommunication. Uh, some was uh, nice. I, uh, I had a meeting, introductory meeting, with some uh, guy who is... Uh, one of vice presidents of Snapchat. And uh, we had a nice lunch, uh, and then he told, oh, let's do a photo together. I, do, I told, yes. Uh, and he told, I, I will send to your Snapchat. I told, I don't use Snapchat. <laughs> I'm waiting for this time. But, and what do you use? Facebook. So he started to write me in Facebook. He said, ah, look. I sent you my pitch, you didn't answer. And uh, when he was startup, he sent me his pitch, and like next year he sold uh, his company to Snapchat. Uh, so it was like, it was missed opportunity, but I didn't know about it. And uh, recently I found also, we did, we did from uh, our opportunity fund uh, investment in Verbit, in Israeli company, and we invested already on unicorn valuation from late stage fund. And then when I started to, to make due diligence, I found that we were in touch, but it was just miscommunication. By the way, my idea to miscommunication, like uh, dropped communication. I didn't answer his uh, letter, or he didn't answer my, I don't know. It was um, some, some broken communication. And by the way, uh, when I um, started, uh, not started, when each was started, my idea was to make business messenger with uh, all communication, which doesn't let you to have broken communication. Uh, unfortunately, 40 team pivoted. So now I'm waiting for next team, which come to me with similar idea and <laughs> let them to do it. But okay, we have it. Uh, but generally, generally, um, I have some uh, friend in Israel. He's a quite seasoned investor. Uh, I remember we looked with him together at one opportunity, early stage startup. Uh, I invested in it, uh, and uh, he decided not to go on some reason. And uh, then uh, we meet uh, one year later invested uh, in company pre-revenue and one year later company has 100 million sales so it was uh, 
enormous growth. Uh, and he told me words uh, I didn't uh, like uh, um, value it uh, first time when I heard. I just remembered it. He told I, I never lost money in project in which I didn't invest. So this project uh, like continued to grow. I invested even more money. It was travel startup. COVID started and they shut down in two weeks. So uh, sometimes you are so lucky you catch this opportunity, but it's uh, not insurance. Igor, there is a question again from our online audience. Anatoly is asking, how important do you think the investor-founder relationship is? And what is the impact of choosing the right and wrong investor? Uh, could be very uh, important uh, for both sides. Uh, investors could be toxic. Uh, uh, it is possible to evaluate uh, on a stage of uh, negotiations. Uh, and uh, because it is a uh, kind of uh, marriage. So <laughs> you find your partner, you spend uh, time, especially if an investor has substantial participation, sits on your board, it can help you or it can uh, harm you. And there are, uh, okay, um, we as investors, uh, I started as angel, and uh, as investor, uh, I'm always founder friendly. So if I already, um, it's uh, how to be in a relationship. Uh, you cannot uh, be in a relationship and to be fine uh, to, your, uh, to your partner. It is uh, here the same. But I met uh, many investors who like to dictate, who like uh, really control, change teams, and so on. Uh, I believe it doesn't work, and uh, these uh, investors will not be successful. For founders, uh, better to avoid them. Uh, for uh, me, I did mistakes. I have uh, some set of rules, uh, and it is a special chapter in the book, uh, which uh, founders you should embrace, and which founders you should keep at uh, arm's length. length. So, um, generally, generally, uh, I do did uh, several times. Okay, I like projects so much. So, founders is a little bit toxic. A little. Okay, let me close eyes. Okay, let's pretend like um, it never. Ha let's pretend it never happened. Uh, girl is uh, nice, and it's not bad that uh, she's so drunk in first night. Uh, next night it would be okay. So uh, it doesn't work. So uh, in hundred percent uh, of times, uh, when uh, okay, I just uh, decided uh, okay not to pay attention. Uh, every time uh, it was not not good to project. Let me collect one more question here on this side and then I'll go back to the other. Okay, first of all, thank you very much for your speech. Uh, I think audience found a lot of interesting insights. And question from me is, what areas, industries, or maybe specific products uh, that nobody is paying attention to uh, that should be, uh, in your opinion, reinvented, modernized, or disrupted? Is there any like product X or idea X that nobody is coming to you with and you are kind of upset about this? Thank you. So, uh, I just mentioned uh, Messenger. Uh, okay, there are some uh, ideas which uh, I'm looking, uh, waiting for, like uh, um, global payment solutions. Uh, I see payment solutions like uh, 10 times a day. But uh, really working is a lot of uh, constraints, but generally it's not here. Uh, normal insurance solutions. I have an uh, insurtech uh, projects like also 10 times a day, but uh, I I in reality, not here. Uh, business application for blockchain, which is uh, one of greatest uh, industry, but uh, it is uh, all concentrated on uh, crypto speculation, token events, and so on. And uh, the only projects who do money on it are exchanges and uh, wallets. So uh, I uh, am waiting for this. Now with uh, AI uh, uh, here, 
Uh, I'm looking and really speak to entrepreneurs about uh, coming breakthrough in uh, uh, digital health and education. Uh, I'm really uh, okay. Uh, very much uh, open uh, to speak about the solution, and they do it all the time. But it's not here yet. Okay, on this side. Igor, thank you for the presentation. My name is, my name is Vitaly. I'm a co-founder of the Sorosa Real Estate. And I would like to ask the question, what is your favorite child, let's say, among your projects? And do you remember the very first pro moment when you met them, how it happened, and how you realized that they have this potential? Thanks. Oh, my favorite project, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Mira for sure, <laughs> no, no, no question asked. Not, not only because they have financial uh, success, because uh, it is the best founder ever I met. Uh, it is uh, uh, so deep, so okay, open-minded, uh, curious, and uh, it is a guy who, okay, uh, could you imagine uh, he was uh, from... Uh, distant uh, Russian city, and he become, like, in no time, one of the uh, most recognized CEOs uh, in the world. Just because he was all time, uh, when he started to speak to me, uh, and I understood that he spoke no, not only to me, but, uh, okay, I was his, like, venture mentor, but he got uh, his advisors and mentors from uh, all kind. Uh, all sides of his business. Uh, also, uh, uh, I would tell uh, it is an uh, example of uh, his uh, honesty. So, what was exceptional? So, like when I invested in him, I invested as fund. I let his uh, uh, seed round, and he got a group of angels. So when we constructed uh, his round, uh, we cared very much uh, about the interest of uh, angel investors who did it first. We care, and it was of his care, and uh, I helped him to do it. And uh, it was one of the reasons why we led it, not other funds, because we really also uh, cared about it. But I also would tell uh, how he cared about ourselves. Uh, we had a term sheet, and then we closed, because the company was uh, very, uh, very accurate uh, to make closing. So we did a lot of paperwork. And generally, when you have term sheet, no documents, uh, both sides could just uh, stand up and go. Uh, no, uh, like half year or even uh, maybe more, almost a year. So I joined board before executing documents. And uh, when we get these documents, uh, he could just uh, just tell me goodbye. Because after we invested, two months later, he got already term uh, sheet. Oh, OK, with my participation, we got term sheet, 30x to my investment in two months. So maybe he didn't expect 30x, but 10x he certainly could uh, expect. And uh, he didn't make any attempt uh, to tell, oh, Igor, thank you for your help, I, I go, no. Uh, so it, it, it is uh, really in uh, all senses uh, favorite. There was one question here. Thank you much, uh, Igor, for your uh, talk. My question is about China, and I don't know much about it uh, and whether China's uh, a place you invest in, but is there a potential market you can tap into, or is it a no-go zone for you? Or for me? Advice? Yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I like China very much. I was the uh, first time in China in 1990. So <laughs> you can imagine. And I spent uh, quite a time because uh, I opened uh, 
uh, business in uh, Hong Kong, Shenzhen. It was 30 years uh, ago. Then when I started to invest, before I became a professional investor, one of my first startups where I did a substantial investment was in Beijing. So again, I spent a lot of time and even learned basic Mandarin just to, to speak around. So I believe China is good. But China has... A, uh, some specific features. So if you want uh, to invest in China, work in China, go and live there. Uh, it doesn't work distantly. Uh, China is very special uh, uh, for foreigners. So usually you should have uh, uh, some uh, good local partner, which is also tricky, or you should like become local yourself, which is uh, better. And this is why, okay, I did uh, a few attempts uh, afterwards to invest, like, distantly. When I invest first time, I literally spent a lot of time there. But uh, recently, I did a few projects in China. Nothing happens. It is a huge market, uh, promising market, but you should make your choice. Live in China or... By the way, um, uh, India is uh, less, from one point of view, less complicated, but also very complicated on a cultural uh, level. And this is why we almost don't do India. I did like two, like three projects, decided that uh, I better stop. But I have uh, some good friend of mine, and uh, he is uh, one of great uh, partners of uh, Harbor Space University. Uh, he's uh, successful in India, but when I spoke to him, uh, when he made his uh, billion dollar uh, in India, he told me, oh, it's good, but first uh, I lost 150 million for uh, my m lessons, and then I was able. So, China, similar. There is one more online question uh, from Said Mumin that I want to raise, uh, and it reads, for an early stage startup with less than $50,000 in monthly MRR, how and where should it look for an angel investor or external investors? Okay, there is a stage, depends of what kind of, if they really speak about MRR, so it means monthly recurring revenue, because many startups are like, okay, we, we sold like uh, TV sets for 50,000, we have 50,000. Uh, if they really have uh, recurring uh, revenue for their product, 50,000, they already close uh, to normal round. Uh, say, if they double, they will be uh, in a uh, good uh, league. But uh, with 50, they already can go to big range of early stage VCs or uh, super angels. It's not necessary already to crowdfund. So. Okay. And because of time, we really have to cut after the following question, last question, and I know you were raising your hand for a long time already. Well, I'm happy my question will be the last one. I have two questions, actually. But, <laughs> but, so the first one is, uh, I'd love to have your autograph in, in your book. Is there an option to, to buy it today, maybe, uh, the book in the hardcover, and to receive uh, your signature on it? That's uh, to organizers. It's not a question to me. To do yes. autograph, it's uh, no, 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 not a problem. But, uh, cool. okay. Uh, okay, yes. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, thank you. And the second question is, uh, in one of your previous interviews, probably somewhere in the uh, YouTube channel Startup Kotik, you mentioned that you launched a startup villa in Portugal. Uh, could you tell more about startup that? What startup what? villa or startup village? Ah. Something like that. So, could you tell more about that? Actually, no, it's uh, okay. I, I can. Uh, I would tell more if it would happen. I told that we are planning to do because it was. Uh, uh, group uh, wanting to do it, uh, and now they want to do it again. But uh, first, uh, enthusiast moved to Madeira, and I thought that Madeira is uh, okay too distant for me. Uh, but uh, now new space will be not far from Sintra, and uh, it will happen. Uh, you, you like uh, uh, fo follow us. <laughs> the, okay. 
Big round of applause for Igor, please. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, man. And as the moderator and host of such an event, it, it hurts the most when you have to cut short on questions. Uh, but this was already more than an hour. And remember that this is not the end yet. We can still go down. You can still ask your questions. Igor is going to hang around a little bit longer, too. But for the formal part, we want to say thank you, everyone, for coming. If you want to stay up to date to our upcoming events, as we have these space talks almost on a monthly basis, check out our Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook page of Harvard Space University, and you'll see everything that we are doing. And for everyone that was raising a question so far, as I just said, we do have our copies as promised. And yes, I'm sure Igor can also sign it for you. And then let's all move down for some snacks and drinks on the first floor. Thank you again. Thank you.